Derek Walton Jr. Derek, home wins have been hard to come by this year. The Heat are now 7-7. Seven and seven. What did this win mean to you guys tonight? It meant a lot just because uh, you know, a lot of stuff that we're facing internally as far as, uh, you know, some injuries have plagued us. But um, that's just, you know, how this team is built. Just whatever we you know, can do and want to do and, and possibly can do to win, this is what we're going to do. And that's part of the reason you're here. This is your fifth trip here to Miami this year, going through so many struggles. What is it about the adversity, the shorthandedness that has brought this team together? Tonight was really a total team effort. Uh, I think before the injuries, we was already a real close-knit group, but um, we already played for each other, but this gave us an extra incentive to do so. And, uh, you know, I always hurt to see one of our brothers and teammates go down, but, um, you know, in, in hindsight, they want us to, you know, do well in the opportunities that we get. So, uh, you know, it gives you some confidence to go out there and just play freely, but also to play for your brothers. All right, this was uh, your first NBA basket, right? It was Monday night in Atlanta, right? Yeah. How did that feel? It was great. I didn't really get to, I didn't really think about it when it happened, but after the game, I kind of, you know, sat to myself and thought about what happened, but, uh, you know, it was, you know, it was cool to finally get one of those. All right, tonight you have seven points, five assists, 25 minutes, four years at Michigan prepared you for this. How, uh, what was working for you tonight? I just, you know, I just, I, I saw always in my stream, just playing off instinct and, uh, you know, some shots were available. I was able to knock them down, the shots that I work on, but, um, it's, it's all about, you know, being ready, being a professional about everything, and um, that's, that's all I can attest it to, just always staying ready. All right, I was going to ask you about staying ready because we have another game tomorrow night, a back-to-back -back here at home against the Pelicans. How how do you prepare for that? How do you stay mentally and physically ready for to do this again tomorrow night? Uh, well, I'm humble enough to know that, uh, you know, it could all be taken away, but, you know, confident enough to know that uh, I shouldn't, you know, shy away from what I'm capable of doing. But overall, it's, you know, it's a team effort, so I don't really have, you know, too much pressure on myself or, you know, as a group. You know, they, the, the older guys, you know, give me a lot of confidence, and I feed off of that. So um, I think it's pretty easy for me to just come in, you know, be mentally ready, and, uh, you know, I think the rest will take care of itself. You mentioned the older guys. Who have you talked to? Who's been a good mentor for you here in Miami? Oh, man, a, a lot of them. Uh, you know, Jay Rich and uh, Tyler and, you know, JJ and, you know, just pretty much everybody, uh, just always give me some pointers and, and whatnot, just, you know, on the, the start of my NBA career and whatnot. And, um, you know, I just take it all in stride just because I, you know, really want to help this team uh, set aside, just really be a good player. So, you know, I take everything seriously. I know you're back and forth, but I got, I get, before I let you go, I got to ask you this. Christmas is coming up. Have you even started your shopping yet? Oh, man. <laughs> uh, I got to give my mom a few things, but overall, I haven't really, uh, you know, got knocked off some stuff off my list. Uh, I think I got some time, though. Well